Okay, now that we've had our wonderful, uh, I was gonna say vacation, Valentine's Day with Benito. That wasn't really a vacation, but you know, it was pretty wonderful. So we've got our schedule set out. We still gotta work on them stats and wait for the next scene, I guess. In the meantime, the stalking continues at his workplace and elsewhere. Hey, Benito. How are things on your end? And then to Cafe Diem. Talk to you. Oh, Benito. Benito, Benito, Benito. You can tell me new things once in a while. It's okay. I don't mind, really. I should probably go to work one of these days again. <laughs> okay, let's check our mail. Nothing there. Vice versa. Another great episode. What do you think of Katarina's new partner? Seems like an obvious love interest setup to me. Ryan's cute. I totally ship them. I don't know. Didn't Vice say he's got a mole in the department? What if it's Ryan? Ugh, oh, fine. You guys have convinced me. I'm going to catch up with the show online this week. I gotta read this, these posts because it's the only way I can keep up with the show otherwise. <laughs> otherwise, I have no idea. Also, I remembered. I bought books that I never use. So let's use them. All right. Good stuff. Finally did that. Um, should probably sleep, I think. Okay, that worked out. Maybe this week. Let's see, where are we? Maybe this week I'll blog and go to work for a change. No, not sleep. Go into town, um, sleep, and blog. We'll try that. I need to show up to work some of the time. Otherwise, I'll probably get fired. And rightly so, too. <laughs> oh dear. I've forgotten how to do makeup. Sean, 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 Sean! Lloyd races toward me as soon as I step into the studio. Y yes, I'm sorry. Look! Okay, he's not mad at me. Lloyd points at the wall. It's plastered with a huge poster for Vice Versus. That's so cool. I know, right? The network sent over a ton of posters. Not as big as that one, of course, but still great. There are a bunch in the break room if you want one. Thanks, I'll have a look. I head into the break room and find a stack of posters on the counter. Here for the posters? Yeah, I saw the one in the main hallway. Lloyd said I could have one. You can have more than one. Take as many as you like. I think I'm going to pay for a room at home with these. Rachel hoists up a stack of posters. Really? Of course not, I'm handing them out to friends. I'm afraid most of my friends are working on this project. More for me then. What a shame. Okay, we're not getting Benito a poster. And now we've added a poster to our own room, so that's good. Hey Benito. Ah, oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, fell out. Just one of these ones is not gonna show up at the coffee shop. And then you'll be like, oh no, I scared her away with my bland conversations. My birthday is this Thursday. I think I'll allow myself to be a little selfish and take a break. Sounds wonderful. And again with the vice versus. Freaking out about this episode. Is Ryan really the mole? You're freaking out? I just marathoned five episodes straight and I don't think I'm ever going to sleep again. Ryan has to be the mole. Vice couldn't have gotten that information any other way. No, I liked Ryan. Poor Ryan. Um, I guess we'll give him a call. I do not remember for the life of me what we bought last time. Hopefully scones are okay. Cranberry and white chocolate. Okay. Hey, thanks for today. Same to you, I'm glad we could hang out. We have a little extra bit of dialogue now. <laughs> now that we've confirmed it as being romantic. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bleh. Now the question is, does my birthday reset all my fatigue? 
I don't know. I feel like I should sleep at the beginning of the week. Maybe go see him at work. Ignore him at the coffee shop this week. Just because. Time to go see Hitman Cavalt. Miss Good and your grades are still wonderful. I wish you the best of luck in the upcoming month. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. My blog is getting more hits these days. I earn $39 in ad revenue. My popularity went up too. Wow. So popular. Our popularity and charisma are one and the same now. Uh, right, we're going to the VG zone. Hey, Benito. Another day, another dollar. Nothing changes. Ooh, do well the blogging, good. Okay, it's my birthday. You gonna get me anything, Benito? As I head to my dorm, I see Benito waving goodbye to some of the students. Hey there, good show today? As good as can be expected. How are you? Not bad, just heading to- Sean, glad I caught you. Adam races across the campus and slides to a halt in front of me. I've got to get to the studio, but I wanted to be sure I saw you first. Happy birthday! Thanks, Adam. Best wingman. Uh, thank you! No sweat. Anyway, gotta run. Later! You didn't tell me it's your birthday. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, it kind of is. Let me at least get you lunch or something. I'd feel pretty lousy if I didn't. I don't want to impose. I was just about to grab something to eat from my favorite place. It's not imposing at all. If you insist. Birthday lunch. Birthday lunch. Thank you, Adam. Benito strides across the campus to one of the food trucks parked nearby. Even in the cold weather, the truck is doing brisk business. Oh my. Tacos. Mmm, tacos. Aw, thanks, man. Here. Benito returns and hands me a taco. It's laden with fresh vegetables, grilled meat, and what looks to be homemade koti kotiha, kotiha cheese? I've never seen- I don't know what kind of cheese that is. I've never seen that before. My mouth begins to water as the aroma wafts through the cold air. Isn't this their most expensive one? You didn't have to. I didn't. When I told the guy it's your birthday, he upgraded it for free. Something about how his birthday was yesterday, so it's like a mini celebration or something. Benito's face looks flushed, but I can't tell if it's from the cold or if he's embarrassed. Oh, I can't even buy you lunch properly. I accept the taco from him and offer a smile. Hey, this is already more than you had to do. I still feel lousy about it. You don't have to. I never told you, so it's not like it's your fault or anything. I just wish I could do something nicer for you. Your company is nice enough. You really know how to make a guy feel special. <laughs> I don't think you need me to realize you're special. But you help nonetheless. Aw, now you're making me feel special. Anyway, I have to be going now, but thank you for the meal. Benito takes my hand and gives it a squeeze. Anytime. Aww. After we part ways, I glance down at my hand. There's a $10 bill in it with the words, Happy Birthday, next year I'll do better, <laughs> scrawled across the face. Even when he's under pressure, he always finds a way. Oh, Benito, you're so freaking adorable. <laughs> Too cute. Ah. Unfortunately, that didn't help my fatigue at all. Shoot. As I finish my homework for the night, my phone starts ringing. I glance at the clock. Who on earth is calling this late? Is it some kind of emergency? Hmm. Not a number I recognize. For a moment, I consider not answering, but curiosity gets the better of me. Hello? Yes, hello. Am I speaking with Miss Gooden? I'm sorry, who is this? Oh, of course. I apologize for my rudeness. What? My name is Masahiro Kuyama. Benito is my son. Uh, oh, um, it's very nice to meet you, sir. I find myself automatically bowing my head in greeting, even though the move won't be translated over the phone. 
Please forgive me for calling so suddenly, but I recently found a video of my son online, and your name appeared in the credits under special thanks. Are you good friends with my son? Um, we've only met just this year, but I'd say we're friends. It's a relief to hear that. Can you tell me if he is doing well? Whoops. Excuse me? Is he healthy? Is he happy? As far as I can tell, but shouldn't you be asking him directly? No, I'm afraid that would be... difficult. I see. I apologize for imposing on you, but I would like to ask you to please continue to be a good friend to my son. He is very clever, but sometimes he rushes into things without thinking. His mother and I worry about him. What is going on here? I'll do my best, but again, shouldn't you be speaking with him about this? There's a long pause on the other end as Mr. Kuyama sorts out his thoughts. No, I think that is not necessary for now. Thank you very much for everything you have done. Mr. Kuyama hangs up and I sit in silence for a while. He's certainly not what I expected, no. Although I honestly don't know what I expected. Benito speaks about his parents so infrequently. Well, I definitely didn't expect them to call some random person just under their son's video. I guess I'll ask him about them next time I get the chance? Oof. I was gonna sleep, but I think I better go to the... I was on a date. This episode kind of blew my mind. There was no mole? But that doesn't explain how Vice knew all those things. I'm betting it's misdirection. Maybe he just hacked their computers. It's hard, but not impossible. Either way, Katarina looks pissed. If she doesn't put a bullet in Vice soon, I'll be surprised. Oh, family issues, family issues. Well, alright, so much for my sleep. I guess I'm going to call Benito. I have some things to discuss with you, and we'll see if we can talk about them. Uh, thanks. Uh, how about some croissants, though? Thanks for today. Same to you. I'm glad we can hang out. You didn't talk to him, girl? Girl, I, I sacrificed my weekend sleep for you. Uh, okay. We're gonna go into town. And then, I don't want to talk to him. Like, I'm going into town to buy pho, in case you're wondering. I'm not going into town to see Benito. I don't want to talk to him about it at work. I think that's, like, really not the best idea. What do I want to do after that, though? Vlog? See him at the coffee shop, sleep, and vlog, I guess? Eh. I'm not looking forward to this conversation. I feel this is gonna be trouble. Lots of trouble, though. <laughs> Stop laughing at me, man. I'm stressed. I'm stressed out about you. So I talked to your father. Would you like to talk about it? Instead of having the same gosh darn conversation, Benito? Freaking Benito, when are we going to talk to you? Sean, you lied to me. You said the next time I see him, I'm going to talk to him about the things. Am I going to have to talk to him about it at work? Uh oh. Mind meeting up on Wednesday at Cafe Diem? I've got another work project going on. Oh, spring clothes at the Divide now. You should check it out. I should. Hey, Vivian. She's the one that posted a comment on our blog. Wow, it's not even spring yet. You're so on top of things. How do you know all this? My brother manages one in the next state over. He tells me when the new stuff comes in, smiley. That's lucky. Do you get a family discount or something? <laughs> Lol, I wish. At least you'll be one of the first to get one of those frilled shirts. They're so elegant looking. Oh, I want one. It'll make me feel so grown up. Alright, and... HA! Called it! Vice totally hacked their computers! Technically, he got a hacker to do it for him, so you only half got it. You still owe me 20 bucks. Really? You had to post this out here for everyone to see? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. I... I need the sleep. I'm sorry, Benito. 
I gave Sean ample time to like talk to you, but she refused because she's a bit of a butt. Um, okay, we're gonna study, go into town, meet Benito, blog and sleep. Uh, I guess. And hopefully he'll still come to blog with us after we meet him. I hope. Oh, we seriously, we have to do it here at work? Sean, you like have no concept of where to do these things. Joe, what's going on? Just came to chat. I take a moment to mull over how I'm going to broach the subject of Benito's parents. What's wrong? You look like something's bothering you. Ouch, he's sharp. Duh. Um, I was just wondering about your parents. What about them? Uh-oh, tread delicately, Gooden. I'm just wondering what they're like. I mean, I've never met them. That's because they don't live around here. Oh, I didn't know that. Except he told you twice! He told you twice, Sean! Good grief. It's fine. You're not expected to know. They're both big, important people who run international companies, so they mostly live on planes fr flying from one place to another. It must be rough not having them around. You get used to it after a while. Besides, I can handle myself. Anyway, I really have to get back to work, so I'll talk to you later. Well, he caught that off pretty quickly, and who can blame him? If his parents are never around, I can see why he doesn't want to talk about them. Still, the fact that his father called me out of nowhere seems odd. Maybe Benito's gotten so accustomed to not having them around, he's forgotten to stay in contact with them. Or he cut off contact with them, Sean. You ever think about that? No. You don't even think about the fact that he tells you things about his family life and you forget all about it again. And I forgot to go shopping for clothes, I just realized. <laughs> I know that was a weird segue, <laughs> but I was busy feeling sorry for myself and then that came, came up in my brain. Anyway, a small smattering of applause welcomes me into the coffee shop, but I strongly suspect that I'm not the intended recipient of such adoration. Yep, I figured as much. Benito, Benito not. Oh gosh. Can we, can we work today, Math? Please. Benito notices me and offers a quick nod in my direction. As soon as the crowd around him disperses, he strolls over. How are you doing? Oh, as good as can be said. Keep him busy making the dreams of children come true. He glances at the small collection of coins in his hand. Although I'm not sure they're doing the same for me. Not making many returns. College students aren't the world's greatest tippers. Especially compared to that nice new hotel job. Um... Well then why do you still hang around at the coffee shop? Then why do you stick around here? It's good practice. I need a place where I can perfect my tricks before using them elsewhere. Tricks? I thought magicians called them illusions. Oh, I do those, too. There's a difference? Benita pulls up a chair beside me and holds up a single playing card. This is an illusion. He places the card against the back of his hand and tucks the corners between his fingers. Here, when I turn my palm over, my hand looks empty. When I move my fingers like so, the card pops up. If I do it fast enough, it looks like I'm pulling a card out of the air. That's impressive, but is it really okay to be showing me this? Benito lets the card fall from his hand to the table. See, making a card appear like that is the illusion. He snaps his fingers and a full deck appears in his hands. He fans the cards out for me to see. The trick is letting you think that was all there is to it. Nicely done. So this place is like a good practicing ground for you then. That's right. And on a strictly selfish note, I like seeing you around. Aw, thanks. Aw, you don't have to come here just for me. You know I'll always be there for you when you need it. Funny you should say that. I got an interesting job-like offer the other day. A couple of entre entrepreneurs are trying to launch an entertainment website full of original content. They're asking me to do a video of Street Magic for the site's launch. That's great. I'm so proud of you. Problem is, this is a really professional-level project. 
the cheap cameras we've been using for our blogs won't cut it. They're giving me money to make this, but I have to handle all of the actual production myself. Since you've got more connections in that area, I was wondering if you could help me out. Of course. Thanks, Sean. You're the best. I certainly try. I'll call you about details later. No problem. Talk to you then. Ciao. As soon as I get back to my dorm, I decide to give Lloyd a call. Greetings! Hey, Lloyd. Um, I know I haven't been into work for a while, and so feel free to say no. I'd understand everything, because it's kind of a weird thing to ask about. I love weird. What's up? I've got a friend who came to me for some professional advice. Can I talk to you about it sometime this week? Maybe on Wednesday? Sure thing. Wednesday morning at 24. Sounds good. See you then. I'd better call Benito and let him know. Pronto. Hey Benito, I called a friend of mine and he's willing to meet up and talk next Wednesday. Do you know where FUT24 is? Sure do. Thanks, Sean. You're a star. I think that role's reserved for you, Kuyama. See you Wednesday. Kuyama. <laughs> I know that's his, his dad's last, last name, so I assume it's Benito's last name too, but is he not going to be like, how did you know my name's Kuyama? See you. Nope. Flew over his head. Didn't even comment on it. It's the first time we ever like, see ya, Kuyama. Oh, hi, Alvin. Excited about spring break? What? When? It's next week. Please don't come to class. No one will be here. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, thank goodness for the sleep. Oh, it's the first day of spring and I didn't get clothes. So I'm gonna have to wear my, my old stuff and <laughs> cook. Go get some things. Ah, new movie theater. Well, that worked out. Did anyone see John's interview last night? He said the Vice Versus mid-season finale is going to be amazing. I'm so excited, but I'm also super scared. Domo, domo, domo! Did anyone else see the new movie theater that just opened up at the mall? Is it any good? I haven't gone there yet, but they've got student discounts. Bring your card and it's only $5 to see a movie. I kinda wanna see the Argonauts, but it's a kid movie. Would they look at me weird if I went? Planetos is supposedly for kids too, isn't it? And I bet you saw all of those. Point. Point. Um. What's our status? Fatigue's not bad. I. I need to look at my calendar. What's going on this coming week? Um. It doesn't tell me what's coming up next week. All right, I'm gonna go shopping. Going to the mall. Then I can unlock the movie theater as well. The new movie theater is open up at the mall. I should have a look. This place is pretty cool and it's much bigger than the one back home. I'm definitely going to have to keep this in mind. It'll be nice to take Benito somewhere new for a change. Okay, so. We can get one of these cute things. Okay, that's classy. These are apparently cute, and these are cute. I guess. I'm kind of worried about what this whole outfit is going to look like. What's it going to look like? Hmm. Um, I guess... I like this top. Look at that. So that's classy. That's cool. This is cute. We'll get super cute leggings with heart-shaped buttons. Oh my goodness, they totally do have heart-shaped buttons. And... Cute shoes for an innocent look. I'm really worried about what this is gonna look like. Okay. Okay, put your pants on first, girl. There we go. That's a really cute top. And the shoes. Oh, you know what? That's actually one of the better combinations I've picked, I think. We'll go with that. We're ready for spring! Meet Lloyd at Fla 24. Okay, so what to do this week? Um, 
I guess we'll go visit our boo. And then... I don't know if... I don't know if we're meeting Benito with Lloyd. So I'll just put an extra into town. And then... Maybe we should sleep on Thursday. And... Vlog, work... Vlog. Or something like that. See how that goes. VG zone. Hey, Kuyama. Okay, we're not bringing up the father stuff. My phone rings the moment I sit down to do homework. I grab it and scan the screen. John? Hello? Sean, I'm glad I reached you. Is something wrong? I can't get a hold of Adam. He isn't answering his mobile or returning my messages. I need to know the status of his next song. The demo is due soon. Oh. Oh. Did something happen? Adam's not good with deadlines, and he's especially not good with people nagging him about them. It's hardly nagging. This is literally his job. Yeah, I know. It's just not his style. Don't cover for him, Sean. You know as well as I do that an attitude like that doesn't fit in a workplace like this. <sighs> Fine. I'll talk to him. How's that? Please do. I hang up and head to Adam's room. I find Adam seated on the floor in his room, staring at the ceiling. His guitar is propped up next to him, leaning against the bed. Yo, what's up? Um, John wanted me to check on you. He said you're not returning his calls. Adam rolls his eyes. That's because there's nothing to say. It wouldn't hurt to at least let him know that much. What, so he can yell at me some more? Pass. I seat myself beside Adam and place my hand on his. Adam, you can't just ignore things you don't like. I'm really tired. Then sleep. Not that kind of tired. I'm tired of writing music for other people. I'm tired of having to create something on someone else's schedule. But that's part of being a professional. You knew that's how it would be when you got into this. But I didn't know it would be this stressful. Deadlines, expectations, there's too much pressure. Music used to be my escape. Now it's my prison. Remember the time I went out swimming alone? And the tide pulled you out to sea? It was like the most terrifying moment of my life. No matter how hard I tried, the land kept getting further and further away. And that's how I feel now. Except this time there's no miracle fishing boat to bring me back home. Hey, I understand. I'm going through the same thing, you know. I've done more work this year than I've done my entire life, and I feel like it'll never be done. I guess drowning is kind of an apt metaphor. But this time you're not alone. I place my hand on Adam's. I'm here for you. We can do this together. He turns his hand over and laces his fingers in mine. Thanks. His body relaxes and he smiles. Having you around really helps, you know. I know I can always rely on you. And I'm sorry you're going through all of this. I hope that you know you can rely on me too. I move closer and give his hand a gentle squeeze. We're here for each other. Adam returns the squeeze with a silent nod. You're right. Oh, I guess I should call John. The sooner the better. Good boy. Uh, what day is it now? I'm completely distracted again. Tuesday. BG Zone. Benito. Same old, same old. Same old dollars. Alright, okay, so we did run into you here. Hey, little wizard. I hope you don't mind. Benito and I have already been getting acquainted. Not at all. Makes my job easier. So what did you kids want to talk about? There's an upcoming site that wants to feature me as one of their main artists. They're funding me, but I have no idea where I'd get cast or crew or anything. That is a conundrum. My best advice is to find people in a similar situation. As in... Students in filmmaking, or the drama department at school. They'll have knowledge and training, although their experience will probably be lacking. But they're willing to learn, and a paying gig like this is always appreciated. 
That's a good idea. Although I'm not a student at the college, so I'm not sure how much I can do. I can handle that part. Excellent! You two are gonna do beautifully well. Thank you for your advice, sir. We'll do our best. Aw, oh, thanks, Lloyd. You were great. And after you eat the pho place. Hey, you got your hoodie back on. Hey, Benito. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, Cthulhu! Oh, well. I didn't have a lot of fatigue anyway, so the Cthulhu dream worked out. <laughs> it was fine. Just fine. I wake to the sound of excited shouts and laughter coming from outside my window. Isn't it the weekend? Who would be up this early? I peer out the window and a small gasp escapes my lips. The parking lot outside the dorms has been transformed into some sort of fair. Brightly colored tents and booths stretch across the dark asphalt, and people wander amiably from one booth to the next. I'm still not entirely sure what's going on, but I definitely want a closer look. I quickly get dressed and fling my door open to see Adam standing outside, hand raised to knock. Whoa. Adam, I was just about to- Yeah, me too. We stare each other, at each other for a brief moment, then burst into laughter. <laughs> <laughs> great minds think alike, right? Calling either of us a great mind is kind of a stretch, don't you think? Let me have my delusions. Can you have your delusions outside? I want to check it out before it gets too crowded. Right. And after this we'll be able to unlock the cupcakes, yes! We hurry downstairs and join the crowd. So what exactly is all of this anyway? I scan the printed signs on the booths nearest to me. A couple banks, some local eatery, and small stage for community theater. Some sort of local business fair? I think they're trying to get the attention of all the students in their wallets. Huh, clever. But setting up a pretty tent isn't enough to- Are those guitars? Adam races to a booth for a local music shop and picks up the nearest guitar. This is a nice one. What about electric guitars? Not here, but if you stop by our shop, we've got plenty, and we can always put in a special order. Would you be interested in looking at some of these others? Adam eagerly works his way through the guitars like a small child picking out a toy. After a few minutes, he rejoins me. Are you done with the guitars already? For now, yeah. They said I could stop by the shop any time I want to try out other ones. Lucky you. I know, right? The two of us wander down the next aisle of tents and do our best to avoid the banks coercing us into opening new accounts in exchange for a new mp3 player. Ooh, check it out. Adam points at a small row of booths containing carnival games. A man in a plastic top hat calls out to passers-by, enticing people to try to win prizes. We stop in front of one of the booths featuring a row of toy rifles in front of a large target. How much? Five dollars for three shots. Adam hands the man a $5 bill and looks at me. I'm going to win that giant stuffed chicken, okay? Anything you say. He takes the gun and aims carefully at the brightly colored bullseye. Bam! A foam dart with a suction cup tip shoots from the gun and breezes past the target. No worries. First one's just practice, right? Adam furrows his brown concentration, adjusts his aim, and fires again. Bam! The next dart strikes the edge of the target and bounces off harmlessly. Don't despair, you got another one to go. The man running the booth offers encouraging words, but I can already see him calculating how much money he's going to make off Adam. Adam? A guy can dream, can't he? Adam lowers the plastic rifle and hands it to me with a grin. Knock him dead, Wahini. Just for that, I'm not going to let you have the chicken. I take the rifle from him and aim carefully. I hold my breath and pull the trigger. <laughs> Bam! The dart flies from my gun and lands in the center circle of the target. It's not dead center, but it doesn't have to be. Nice line, Missy. Pick your prize. The man running the booth makes a sweeping motion with his arm to display the wide array of stuffed animals and goldfish I could take home with me. That. I point at a set of matching cupcakes. Excellent choice, if I do say so myself. Enjoy your prize. Aww, uh, no stuffed chicken. You'll be thanking me for this when it's three in the morning and you're craving cupcakes. Adam grins. Why wait? Let's eat them now. Sounds like a plan. I hand Adam one of the cupcakes and inspect the label. Huh, this came from a club on campus. Oh, there's a baking club? 
Yeah, Professor Meridia brought in some of their cupcakes once. I should probably look them up sometime. Bring back more cupcakes when you do. Will do. At least I will to Benito. Hoi 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 hoi. Vice versus. Mid-season finale! Ah! I'm so done. I just can't. That was a very cruel cliffhanger to leave us on. If Ice actually cuts Katarina's face, I swear I will break something. <laughs> My goodness, that's strong opinions. Hmm, fatigue of 10. What do I want to do? Um, I guess I'll call Benito. It's not crazy. You wanna hang out? You can go to the movie theater. Let's go see a movie. Sounds good. I'll head over as soon as I'm off work. And I can wear my new outfit. Hey there. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. Not at all. Nice outfit. It's really cute. I do my best. I don't have a TV, so I have no idea what's good. You pick. Um, which movie should we watch? He's probably not going to want to see the funny thing about love. And I feel like I shouldn't take him to see the Argonauts, because it's like... I'm not a kid, okay? You don't gotta take me to the kid show. And I won't admit that I enjoyed it. So, we'll try high octane and see what happens. After all, there are bombs! <laughs> I didn't expect a movie about guns and explosions to be quite so creative. They did find a lot of different ways to blow things up, didn't they? Oh, I guess we went and saw a Michael Bay feature. <laughs> if only the plot could be as creative. Are you kidding? It's an action flick. No one watches it for the plot. Either way, I'm glad we could do something like this. Thanks for the invite. Thanks for coming. It was kind of a middling thing. I don't actually know if he liked it or not. Ah well, on to the next week, I guess. Hmm.